everybody. Welcome back to Miss Smith's virtual art class. Usually I'm making art on the porch, but today it is cold and snowy and that's no April Fool's joke. It's actually snowing in Boone today. So I'm inside and we're going to kind of go along with the other two projects we did, the Andy Goldsworthy and the Very Hungry Caterpillar, where we're going to use things found around the house to make a sculpture. So I have collected all kinds of trash and recyclables, and today I'm gonna make a trash robot. So robots are really cool. They can do all kinds of different stuff. So while you're making your robot, maybe think about what it does. You could think, hmm, what is a problem that my robot could solve? Like maybe, my robot could do the dishes or clean up my bedroom, or maybe my robot becomes my art assistant and is very creative, or maybe my robot becomes a helper. Like right now we need a lot of doctors and nurses and brave heroes, so maybe this robot I make could be a, a healthcare robot. Anyway, I've collected all kinds of cool stuff, but I'm not the first person, I'm not the first artist who's making art out of trash. So one of the first people to make art out of found objects is Marcel Duchamp. And he made this sculpture, basically just attaching a bicycle wheel to a stool. And he said his art was not about the product, it was about the ideas. So he started, well, he was one of the pioneers in the Dada art mu movement, which was this really interesting movement in the 1900s where artists challenged what was usually thought of as art. So Duchamp also is famous for um, putting a, a toilet in an art museum and uh, calling it art and people were like, what? But uh, he kind of opened the, um, stage up for more conceptual, funky, weird, found objects art. Another artist that was really famous for using found objects is Pablo Picasso. You've probably heard of Picasso. So he made these really neat sculptures, <laughs> oh, there's a cat, <laughs> out of wood and frames, and they almost look like characters or people. Here is some more Picasso. Here is a guitar that Picasso made out of pieces of cardboard. So we're gonna be using some cardboard today. And here's another one. You can see that he glued different pieces of cardboard together. Um, in my YouTube video, video um, I'll include links to all these different ideas. This person used the tip of erasers to make the center of flowers. There's all kinds of cool stuff that artists do with found objects. All right, so I'm gonna make a robot and I've done lots of prep work. The first thing I did was gathered some boxes. This is a kitty litter box and just different size boxes and I painted them silver. I used acrylic paint here and you can see that um, silver is a kind of classic robot color, so that's why I used it. And um, I think I'm gonna start building this robot from the ground up. So here's some cans that I stripped with no labels here. So this is gonna become the base of the robot. I want him to be very strong so he can hold up weight. I've never done this before, so here's to hoping it works out well. Boys and girls, I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. And um, you might not want to use that just because you can burn yourself. So uh, good alternatives are duct tape because duct tape can fix anything. All right, so I'm going to hope that these will stand up. This one's going to go on there. Okay, so I'm just going to put a ring of glue here around the base. Hot glue is really nice because it dries so quickly. So I'm just going to stick that on there. Look at that. Good old hot glue. All right, I don't want these to be equal here. There, okay, another drink of hot glue. You know, you can make all kinds of stuff out of trash. You can make maybe a drum kit to drive your parents crazy so you could bang on loud pots of pans. Is that a good idea? <laughs> okay, he's 
going to have even longer legs here. All right. He's getting taller. Whoop, that wasn't exactly right. One reason that art makes you smart is because things don't go the way you plan sometimes. So you always have to figure it out. Aha. Okay, test it out. Yes. Looks like I'm running low on the glue stick. Pop another one in there. Let's hope that stays. All right. I'll go ahead and give you a hint. I think my robot is going to be an art robot. Oh, man. Because that's just what I think is cool. I wanted to make my robot have lots of bright colors. And maybe it could live in my classroom. So it would be neat if the boys and girls at my school saw this video. And then when they come back to school, they could see their robot that I made. And they would recognize it. I'd love to see what the kids could come up with on their own. Well, that one didn't work so good. Let's see. Would this one be the same right here? Yeah. Okay, let's see if this one works better. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like a glove. Okay, so that's going to be the legs to the robot, which I need to figure out the robot's name. But maybe I'll build him first and then come up with a, with a name. Okay, all right. So then the, ba the body or the belly is going to go here. Maybe I'll prop him against the wall like that. All right, so I'm thinking just a couple of dabs of glue. No pun intended. My name is Dabney. So I feel like I was made to dab, all right? And I gotta work kinda quickly with this hot glue or else it'll dry. And I could always reinforce things later, maybe with, um, with duct tape or something. Another way I could reinforce this is along the bottom. I could, ooh, I could add some, some glue maybe around these edges. Oh yeah, that's gonna work out really good. You know, it's nice to make art out of trash because it actually probably helps the environment not to have things go into a landfill. And then you're going to get to make the world a more beautiful place with your art. You know, I've been collecting stuff for a long time. Check out all these marker lids I collected. Just a few of them. Because <laughs> we started throwing away... We were just throwing away all these marker lids over the years. And I thought, why don't I keep these lids and I could make like maybe a marker lid mosaic? So stay tuned for that YouTube video. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's see if it stands up on its own. So gravity is definitely a consideration here. Okay, he's feeling pretty... Um, pretty stable. Now, let's hope he can get a little taller. Okay. Cool. He's getting a little wobbly, so I might stick him back against the wall. Okay. There. Just put some glue on the bottom of this box. I think this box was from um, some trash bags. Hey, this saves me a trip going to the dump. They don't pick up our trash where we live, so we have to drive our trash in the car to the dump, so maybe we won't have to go this time. Okay, he's looking pretty robotic already. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the robot's head. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm kinda using the idea of a pyramid scheme. Well, no, just a pyramid shape to um, make it more balanced, more bottom heavy. I was worried that if it was top heavy, he would want to fall over. Okay. Oh yeah. Sweet. Um, hmm, what do I want to do next? Maybe the control panel. All right, so this is a piece of plastic. It was clear like this plastic, 
but then I painted the inside white and I did some detail work on the outside. So this is going to become the control panel. I've been really excited about this part happening here. So that's going to go there. And I think, I'm hoping that this will just stay with the ring of glue. But I may have to do um, some reinforcing like what we did um, with the legs just to make sure it stays better. I'm trying to avoid burning myself here. This is going to be a one-shot deal. Ooh, try to make it even, even. All right. Sweet. There's some drips down there. Maybe I could use those to my advantage to kind of reinforce this bad boy here. Cool. Okay. So this is going to be the robot's control panel. And here's a knob that will show that you can turn up the volume. Since it's an art robot, maybe you could turn up the color or, or turn the volume up to 10 on creativity. Okay, so I wanna kinda of have that maxed out all the way to the right. And then I'm just gonna make some other lid knobs. That one could fit good here. I didn't even paint this one because it was already gold. So. Metallic stuff is great to use for robots. All right. See how that hot glue, it just works so good. If you're gonna use hot glue at home, boys and girls, you definitely work with your parents on this one because I'd hate for your little fingers to get burned. Okay, there we go. Cool, all right. Um, here's some lids that um, are from Expo Markers. So every, every teacher has a bunch of those. All right, that's gonna go there. And here, boop. This is so satisfying. How about I'll do the, um, the green caddy corner and then the red caddy corner. I like things to have balance. I'm getting these um, spider webs. I call them the hot glue strings. Probably be covered in that by the end, but it's worth it. Okay. Keep thinking, don't burn yourself, don't burn yourself. Okay, and then um, maybe three here in the middle. I'll start with the one. The black one will go here. Okay. And then, ah, stay. Technical difficulties, malfunction. So that teaches me to maybe go back and double check these. Hopefully it doesn't become too heavy here and um, fall forward, but you never know. And even if it goes wrong, I won't give up and we'll be able to figure it out. Okay. This guy here, and then this guy. All right. Cool. <laughs> I feel like he's already starting to look much more robotic. Okay, what could be next? Maybe the arms? All right. Who's been using a lot of Clorox wipes? We have, yay! Um, so this was a Clorox wipes container and it was actually surprisingly easy to cut it in half using scissors and I'm really hoping that I can use these as the arms. There are buttons on the side. Um, not sure exactly what those are for yet, but we'll figure it out. All right, so plastic, let's hope that this can stick, but you know what? Experience tells me that it's not going to want to stick. So I'm going to put some duct tape on the back of it just in case to reinforce it. So I already cut that at an angle here. So I could put like a piece of tape on the back of it and then I could go ahead and stick that down. Oh yeah. 
and then um, I can re reinforce it with hot glue. And that should kind of make a nice barrier there. That may need a couple passages to become really well reinforced. It looks like maybe a little bit back here. Okay. Let me let that dry for a little bit and see how that sticks. Maybe hold it like that. Okay. So one time my friends and I had a robot dance party. So I know that sounds really weird. But we actually um, thought it would be hilarious since there's actually a dance called the robot where you dance like this. So we thought how funny and weird would it be if we all dressed up like robots and then danced like robots. So my friend Courtney and I went to Lowe's and man, when you are shopping for robot costume ideas, there are a million of possibilities at Lowe's Hardware. I'll have to attach a photo of my um, outfit. I was pretty proud of it. Um, not the most comfortable thing I've ever worn, but um, it was definitely a party to remember. I think I'm gonna reinforce this arm a little bit more. Um, I worry about these parts falling off. So boys and girls, have you ever seen a movie? Ah! Cool, no problem with losing legs here. Um, this is all part of the process. No robots were harmed in the making of this YouTube video. Maybe your art teacher. <laughs> oh no, he lost a button there. <laughs> Come on. Sick. I'll be honest, if I wasn't filming this, I would probably go a little slower. Um, nothing like a video to inspire you to, to go a little faster here. Um, okay, that one's looking kind of weird. Um, they may need to start over. It's got a lot of crud on it. Ooh. I'm going to have lots of mess to clean up later, so. You're welcome, parents. Another messy art project. Yay. Okay. That's staying all right, all right. Okay, we're doing all right here. Um, that doesn't look very good. I'm just going to kind of hide this little guy up in here. Maybe some of these might need some finishing touches later too. That side looks pretty sturdy. A little bit of extras here. Okay, just a little bit of extra glue to seal that edge up. Kind of reminds me of uh, Wizard of Oz and the Tin Man, and he has to use oil to kind of move a little easier. All right, ooh. Okay, so the robot, he's got arms, yay, awesome. Um, okay, to make this an art robot, I think, yeah, this is what needs to go on top is the rainbow hat. So you can see it's just like this cookie dish. I think this was cookies or crackers, and I used um, house paint to paint this like a rainbow. I love bright colors. Ooh. Okay. All right, um, let's see, put some glue on the head here. Very cool. Yeah. 
Voila! We have a hat. Yay, that fit. Cool. Um, okay. I'm really excited about the rubber it's starting to come together. These were um, yogurt lids from the Chobani Flip. So I cut these and painted them purple since I didn't quite have room for the purple on my rainbow earlier. All right, gotta have some purple ears. Oops, ran out of glue again. Good thing hot glue sticks are cheap. Okay, try to make this symmetrical. There's one ear, cool. <laughs> You know, this also reminds me of um, the Jetsons. This may be before y'all's time, but I grew up watching Flintstones and Jetsons, and the Jetsons had this robot. Maybe her name was Annie or something that would help clean. She was like the robot maid, so this kind of looks like her. All right. Um, I was planning on doing these as part of the arms coming out here. Um, let's see, how could I do that? Oh, huh, maybe, maybe just half as long here. Ooh, she could be dancing, so. Oh yeah, that would probably work there. Maybe one could be up and one could be down. That could give her like a little bit of gesture or something. Okay. That sticks. Oh, by the way, these are, can you guess? Whoop, paper towels. So these are paper towel rolls that we had collected for our totem poles in fifth grade, but now I'm using them for robots. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think that's gonna look cool there. that's hot. Sweet. Now, more like dancing. Great. All right. It's coming together. Um, 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 um. Okay. Now is the part I've really been excited about is the face. We've got two cats who love to eat tuna. So these are tuna cans that I painted um, just like pupils and irises. So, <laughs> and then here's the other side of a Chobani flip. And I think, I forgot to put this on there, but I think I'd like um, my robot to have teeth. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy Sharpie here to uh, draw some, some teeth for my robot. Cool. All right, so the mouth will go probably like there, maybe. I want the eyes definitely up here. This is so exciting. I'm excited about this part. Um, maybe I'll put about right there. Okay. Lots of hot glue for the eyes. You don't want the eyes falling off. That could scare some kids at school. But it does feel hot. Um, I think maybe if we do some gluing on the edge, it'll end up sticking. You know what wouldn't have been a bad blah, 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 blah. what would not have been a bad idea would be maybe to put um, duct tape on the back first. But now I have two eyes, so I could try that again if I wanted to. So far, it's sticking. That's good. All right. Cool. Cool. Let's see. I wonder. Oh, I see why it didn't stick well the first time. Because I put the glue in the middle, and it's um, concave a bit. I'm going to try putting it on the edge this time. 
This is the beauty of doing something more than once. You can tweak your ideas. Because let's face it, we don't usually get things right always the first time. We want to make sure those highlights are lined up. Hi. Oh, there's Louie. Hey, Louie. What do you think, Louie? These are your tuna cans, remember, eating that stuff? He's like, give me some more. Okay, I'm just going to reinforce that a little bit as well. Cool. <laughs> this makes me so happy. I've been thinking about this robot for so long, but now to see it coming along, it's really, really tickling me. Um, let's see, maybe should the mouth be lower? I can't, maybe, maybe right there. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. You know, things don't always turn out the way you plan, but that's part of the fun of it. Okay, so here's the mouth. Gotta get it right the first time. Oh, he's drooling. Ah! <laughs> cool. Um, I wonder if I could add maybe some more things. I don't know. I might play with it a little bit more and, and add some stuff. Who knows? But for now, I'm really excited about my robot. Let's see if I can pick him up. Whoa! Maybe that was a bad idea. But anyway, guys, do you think you could make a trash robot at home? This was really fun. And um, you know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So it's neat to turn something that you would usually throw away into something that you cherish. Um, I love this idea for you. I hope to see your examples. I miss all my students. And now I need to name my robot and put it to work. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.